Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a significant development in the ongoing Gaza conflict. With the recent death of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar, there's a lot of speculation about what this means for the future of Hamas and the region. Sinwar's death has left a leadership vacuum within Hamas. His deputy, Khalil Al-Haya, is considered a strong candidate to take over. Al-Haya's experience and understanding of Gaza's situation make him a likely successor. However, it's important to note that this isn't the first time Hamas has had to replace fallen leaders. The organization has shown resilience in the past, but it's always a significant blow when a top leader is assassinated. Hamas officials have made it clear that their conditions for a ceasefire with Israel remain unchanged. They demand a complete Israeli withdrawal from Gaza, an end to hostilities, the transfer of humanitarian aid and the reconstruction of Gaza. On the other hand, Israel insists on Hamas's surrender and disarmament. With the leadership in question, there's also growing concern about the fate of Israeli hostages held in Gaza. Mohammed Sinwar, Yahya's brother, has emerged as a key figure who might play a crucial role in Hamas's future in Gaza. As the organization navigates this leadership transition, the conflict with Israel continues to intensify. Recently, Israeli forces have increased their attacks in Gaza, especially in the Jabalia refugee camp. These attacks aim to target Hamas's attempts to regroup, resulting in numerous casualties and further displacement. This escalation only adds to the already dire humanitarian situation in the region. So, what does this mean for the future of the Gaza conflict? The path to peace seems distant as both sides remain steadfast in their positions. The international community continues to call for a peaceful resolution, but achieving this remains elusive. In summary, the death of Yahya Sinwar has undoubtedly shaken Hamas, but the organization's history of resilience suggests they will find a new leader. The ongoing conflict, however, remains a significant concern with no clear end in sight. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to stay informed about these crucial developments. Until next time, stay safe and take care.